Okay, welcome. Today we are going to work on some watercolors. So I am switching to some watercolor paper. I just have some kids watercolor paint pad. Very inexpensive. You can see um, I got these a long time ago at Roberts for $2.99. So if you get a 50% off, they're pretty cheap. Um, also, I'm just using Michael's Artist Loft paints. These are just cheap watercolors as well, um, but they're a little bit easier to work with and a little darker colors than just your normal watercolor palette that you get as a basic start. So we're gonna go ahead. Now, first of all, if you look and can see some of my watercolor have dried out in the tube, which is completely fine because once you add water, then it's going to be usable just as well as it was when they were liquid. Um, and also, your watercolors will dry out um, once you've squozen them on. They'll eventually dry out and you can still use them. That's um, I actually think that they're easier when they're dried out than wet. So don't throw them away, you can still use them. Okay, so we're gonna start with just drawing an umbrella. And I just sketched one really lightly here. I'm gonna try to link just a pattern so you can trace it um, if you don't wanna try to draw an umbrella. But I figured since it's springtime and we get a lot of rain, that we can do, it would be fun to do a watercolor with um, an umbrella in rain. So again, I'm just using just a basic um, watercolor brush or acrylic. Watercolor and acrylic brushes, you can use um, both for both mediums because um, they both rinse out with water. So go ahead and just grab your brush. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with some yellow and I got these little palettes I saw them one day years ago at Dollar Tree and I don't know if they still have them but if they do they work really well so that then you don't have to use a paper plate um, but if you don't have one of these then go ahead and use a paper plate and just put your paints out on there or if you're just using these, just pick up some yellow. And I'm gonna teach you a little bit about how to mix your paints. So first of all, I've just gotten some yellow off of here and I have a free space right here. And I'm just gonna, I added some water to it. And I'm just gonna go over and first start with the yellow. Now again, this is the same thing as last time. You don't want your edges to dry. So you want to keep everything really wet and blended. So you can see that I took that first line of paint and then went over it right after with just some water to just blend that color so that it doesn't leave a straight line. You just want it to fade out. That's the easiest way to work with watercolors. You don't want these hard lines. And you see that I'm adding water. I'm taking some of the original paint, adding some water to it and mixing it over here so that it's kind of a lighter color. And we're just gonna go through and color this all start with a yellow. And again, we're going to do kind of the same um, concept that we did before where there's going to be a light side and a dark side. However, this time I'm going to have the light side be here down below because we're having a thunderstorm up here. And so we this is gonna be the dark and this is gonna be the light and the warmth because the umbrella is gonna create this protection or warmth from all the storm. So again, just keep adding some color here to the 
umbrella. And you can make your umbrella any color. My favorite color is yellow. And especially right now, I feel like with all this, we've had a lot of clouds and stuff. We need some bright yellow in it. So I'm just using yellow. But if you want your umbrella to be another color, you can go ahead. Now this project can, um, adults, this, this can be up to adults. If adults want to do it, kids can just simplify it. I'm going to probably do a little of both just to show you, but um, kids, if you want to just color it all yellow, that's, or what one plain color, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to mix some colors now. I've got some red and some orange and then this kind of mustard color. I'm going to add a little bit of this mustard color to that yellow mix because now we're going to make some highlights and you'll see as I add this in, this is what's fun about watercolors, is if you add it in, it starts blending with the color that you've already had in it and it starts making it look 3D. And again, if your paper has dried, you're going to want to go through and kind of re-wet it just so that you don't leave any hard edges. We'll do hard edges at the very end, but not right now. So you're just going to go through and follow kind of the lines of the umbrella. And if you got too much of that mustard color and you don't like it, go through and add some water to it to lighten it up. And it will kind of blend out and through. Okay. Now I'm gonna take a little bit and add a little bit more yellow to it to kind of make the middle. And again, we want to kind of just blend it and then right here under there is going to be a shadow where this umbrella is going to the edges are going to usually be darker again so we're going to do that and then quickly to go over it again with the water to blend it so we have no hard edges And if I'm going too fast and you're not quite there, push pause and just get caught up. And then continue when you're ready. All right, so now I'm just going to go back through and add a little bit more yellow. Just to kind of fill that all in, we're going to add more yellow. Okay, now we're going to take and I'm going to add a little bit of orange. And I'm going to add more yellow to this so that it's just kind of a lighter orange. I'm going to add a little bit of water because we want it to be very light. Okay, and we're gonna go through and kind of do the same thing that we did before. Watercolor is all about layers. So you, with watercolor, you start with the lightest color, and then you go darker and darker very slowly. Watercolor does not let you erase very well. So you want to make sure that the color you put on there is the color that you want. But I will show you a trick. So if you take your paper towel and dab at it, that will erase part of your paint. So that is the only way to erase on your watercolor. And you can, um, you know, you keep getting it wet and erase it and erase it if you have some stuff that you don't like on there. 
Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of the orange to this. Okay, I'm just trying to, I'm doing some lines to try to make it look as 3D as possible. Whoops, and I dropped my paintbrush. Which for some reason I do. It must be how I hold my brush, but I I have known to drop it on there with paint on it and then put paint where I did not want my paint to be and have to try to erase it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the brush. Or not, not the brush, the um, handle of the umbrella. And you see this blue right here is quite dry, but as soon as you add some water to it, it's gonna be start being usable. And I'm just gonna take some of that color of the blue and move it over to a blank space so I can add some different colors. But we're gonna start with the blue. And we're just gonna go ahead and very lightly draw the handle. And we're just gonna leave that for a minute to let it dry. Now we're gonna come on to the rain. And again, we're gonna use that same blue and mix it over here. And again, we're gonna start with the lightest color. So I'm gonna add a whole bunch more blue or water to this because I want it to be very light. We're just gonna come through on the top here. We're gonna just kind of make this all as light blue as we can. And just, it doesn't have to be um, smooth because it, we want it to kind of look like there's clouds and it's a stormy day with the clouds hitting. all the way down to the umbrella and hopefully by the time we get down to the umbrella the umbrella is going to be dry because we don't want it to be wet else it's going to start smearing i actually should have grabbed a bigger brush if you have a bigger brush, this would be a good time to get a bigger brush because you're just trying to wet the whole thing. And this little small brush is taking a little bit more time. And you can see some of my dry paint got on there, which is fine. We'll just pick it up and get it more wet. Okay, so we're getting down close to where the umbrella is. We want to make sure that we don't, we leave a space. We want to leave a space in between where that umbrella is and the yellow because, or the umbrella is and the rain's hitting because we don't want our umbrella to turn green. So if you see, you just do a light, edge there and leave a little space because if you don't leave that space you're gonna have a green umbrella or whatever color mixes you have mixed with the blue so again we're just gonna do that to the other side and we're gonna work very wet 
so that we don't have any lines. And if you see some lines that are starting to happen, like up here, take your brush and go through and just add water to it and kind of fade it out. No sharp lines. Okay, and we're gonna get down here. And then we're gonna stop where the umbrella is protecting so that there's no rain. And again, fade that line though, because we don't want a sharp line right there. We just want it kind of blended. Okay, now we're gonna go through again and start at the top and go darker. Now this will be, this is where it gets fun because it doesn't have to be exact. I'm getting a darker blue and I'm mixing it with that light blue. And we're just gonna go darker and darker. In fact, that was purple I mixed with it, which will get it even darker. This is the dark blue I mixed up on. You can label these too. If you're gonna reuse them, you might wanna label your um, paint colors so that you know when which ones they are so when you need more paint and you squeeze more paint on you don't mix the colors okay so we're just taking this and adding more color to it and i'm just taking straight color on right now just to get some of this color in the sky And you can see that that red got mixed in, but that's okay because we can just blend it in with some blue and it will turn into a purple. Okay, again, I'm just gonna add some more blue. And I'm gonna show you how to make some clouds. This is actually a fun, I like making clouds with watercolors. So when I had, when I had art, they always said, when I took art in high school, they said we were not, my teacher would not allow us to use black and we would have to make our own black through mixing opposite colors, which would make kind of a a grayish color and that would be our black but I'm gonna go ahead and this watercolor set came with black so I'm gonna add some black into it and again don't leave any lines now I'm gonna show you how to make a cloud. Whoops, I want to get rid of that red there. I don't know where the red's coming from. It must have splattered or something. So again, we're going to add some blue there to get rid of that red and make it a purple. Okay, so now you're going to take your uh, paper towel and find a clean spot and you're just going to come through and dab off some of those places to make clouds. And then you're gonna leave it because then the watercolors are gonna kind of blend back in, but they're gonna be light and leave that soft edge that you want, that clouds usually have. Okay, and as we come down, now we're gonna start doing the lines vertical because we're having the rain hit this umbrella and we're gonna have it coming out of the sky. We're gonna have it kind of 
Now I've seen examples of people doing a rain like this where they actually do it the color of rainbow. So they do all the color streaming down, which would be fun if anybody wants to do that. I would love to see it. Okay, so now we're going to have these lines hitting and they don't have to be as smooth because we're having the rain come down and hit these. Again, we don't want to hit it, go towards the, actually touch the umbrella until the umbrella is completely dried. Now I'm going to go through and look where I added some more color and make some darker clouds come through. That's a really dark cloud, but that's okay because we're going to just blend it in. And again, if it's too dark, you're going to want to just use water. And it's all about just going back and forth until you get to a spot where you go, yeah, I like that. That looks good to me which I always feel like I'm never finished. I can always keep, so if at one point I just have to say, okay, I'm done. Okay, here we go again, and I'm just gonna bring that paper towel in to make some clouds. And it's looking like a really nice storm up there. And then you can even, if you notice on clouds, that there's then some parts that are kind of darker at the bottom of the cloud. And so you can add that in and then just do a light, just a wash. And then again, if you go up, oh, a little lighter there. You see how this color is kind of blending in and that makes it look so stormy to me. Just the different colors. It's kind of like with the other, when we were doing the, the viruses, that it makes it more 3D the more color you have. Then I'm gonna go ahead again and take some purple this time and I'm gonna mix the purple with some black. We're going to kind of draw some more lines down here of the rain hitting. It's coming down. Maybe add some blues to it. The rain's hitting. And I'm just going to take some water and come in with that. You just kind of want to just show a little bit of some depth to it of the rain. And then down here, we want to make sure that we're continuing down where. umbrella isn't showing. Okay, so we're going to let it dry a little bit and we're going to go back to the umbrella. And I'm just going to take a little bit of black and a little bit of this mustard. And I'm going to mix it over here. And we're going to start making a little more detail to this umbrella. So at the top, there's going to be a little bit of a where the umbrella hooks. And then we're going to a little bit down here where the umbrella gets has the middle part. We're just going to do that on the edges and you can go through and do a little bit on all the edges. You see how I'm going to blend this now out around the edges here, blend it out. So we don't have too sharp of an edge but we have enough that it 
you can tell that it's looking more 3D. Now we're gonna take this, bring it down, and then again, I need a little bit more paint with a little bit more of that mustard. And I'm thinking it's gonna be too dark, so I'm gonna mix it a little bit with some water. And we're gonna take it, and this is where you need that point on your paintbrush. down and you can see that the paint the yellow part has dried so that it's not blending in as much you'll notice that if you don't wait for it to dry then it's gonna just blend and you start getting some mud and I'm just gonna go through and soften those lines again and then we're just gonna um, leave it again and let it dry for a minute. And I'm just noticing that my umbrella is kind of lopsided. So I'm going to go through and try to just fix that a little bit. edge here and see if that may make it look better. Okay. And then as this is drying, we're going to go ahead and bring back in some of this light blue. And we're going to have some more add some more rain to this. If you feel like you've got yours where you like it, don't feel like you need to add on more. I'm just going to fill in some of these white spots and wait for this to dry a bit. I really like my clouds up here, so I'm going to leave them. But I'm just going to kind of add some rain here. And you kind of want it to do sporadic, like you don't want a complete line where the rain starts and is coming down because then that looks more um, fake. Okay, and I'm going to add a little bit of the purple over here to match that other side. And again, if you want to do a rainbow of colors, um, you can go ahead and do that. Then you're gonna just take, and I'm just gonna take some um, undiluted, as undiluted as I can of some of these, this light blue. And I'm gonna draw a line of where the rain is hitting and splashing off of it, just to make it look like it's actually coming down and hitting its spots. It can even go down to the rain part the yellow part again to hit and kind of fade that into a light color there and just see how then you can see like the splash coming off of it that makes it kind of fun like it's the umbrella is protecting from all this rain that we're having and soften some of these and you'll want to do just a very light pressure
maybe some rain that's rolling off the edge and kind of coming down here. As well. Okay. Last thing we're going to do is just touch up and make a little bit more of these dark edges with the umbrella. So we're going to make this little dot here again and we're going to have these edges. It's all about gradual with the um, lines. Don't want to make him look too subtle. Okay, and then I'm going to take and make some shadow where this handle is because the umbrella is going to shade it a little. So we're going to just kind of make that look like the shadow is hitting here and I'm going to go through and there was this part up here I didn't really like so I'm going to kind of erase it a little bit and add some shade over here and just keep touching up until you, you're liking it but there we go there is our rainstorm with an umbrella hope you enjoy it make sure to send me your pictures <laughs>